Alrighty, your favorite auditor, audit them, the one who encourages you to audit them. We're at the building, Boone County Administrative Office, Illinois. Never ever been here before, checking on Section 4. Now, counties have separate FOIA officers per department, so we might have to be speaking to, we might have to speak to multiple employees here to receive to verify compliance on section four, rather. Um, Winnebago County, I'm telling you guys, if you guys have not seen the video, I have not released it yet. It went sad and sickening. The deputy sheriff, he, he turned ugly. Turned sad and sickening, man. Let's see how these folks perform here. Okay. All righty. So first thing is first. I don't see none of that stuff on the wall. None. None, 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 Alrighty, hi. Boone County. So building and zoning department. Well, let's start off with building and zoning. Oh, that's key badge. Okay. Oh, it looks like all departments are key badges. Push the button. Well, this one is county board. County board. Hey, but I'm monitoring government here to ensure it is being conducted in the public interest. Okay. Uh, what's the first name of the FOIA officer for this department? Uh, depends if you're looking for county board or board. administration. For a county board, that would be Becky Tobin. Is he or she available to speak to? She is not. She is not, okay. She is the county administrator. Right, and uh, she handles the board and administration. I handle the administration. Okay, who's the FOIA officer on the administrative side? That would be myself. Okay, great. You're designated or designee? I'm designated. Designated, great. Section 3.5, my friend, specifies freedom of information officers shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. Okay. I'd like to see that list develop, please. Which list is that? It's under Section 3.5. Do you mind if I... Sure, yeah. You can take a look at that. I don't know if it's going to Here it is right there, my man. Yep. Uh, And you are Aaron? Correct, sir. Great, thanks. Which one you are talking about? Um, 4.4. No, 3.5. 3 Starts off right here. Freedom of information officers shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. You just want to see all the FOIAs that we've received? No, I need to see the list of documents of categories. List of documents of categories? Of records, yep. Let me see where sure. that is. And I will see what I can do. Okay, my man. Um, I'll wait momentarily. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say it's going to take me a minute to see. Where I'll tell you that. what, I have to. So, this is a county administrative building here. Correct. Which means. Most departments have their separate FOIA officer. Correct. I have each FOIA officer has to develop a list based on their department. So this means I have to go check with other departments. I could come back momentarily, shortly. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Go for it. All right. Um, maybe by the time I'll be back, you will be able to possibly locate that. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. County recorder. County recorder. All righty. Hi, how's it going? I'm monitoring government here, ma'am, to ensure it is being conducted in the public interest. What's the first name of the FOIA officer for the recorder's department? You have to go to the administration office across the hall. Uh, no, ma'am, the recorder has its own FOIA officer. 
that's for administration. We don't have any recorder in the office right now, though, or at lunch. She'll be back at lunch. She's at lunch. What's the FOIA officer's name? The recorder is Karen. She might be also the designated officer. Okay. I'll check back, possibly. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Thanks, ma'am. Check back with the other offices. County recorder. County recorder. Here goes this treasurer. 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 Okay. Hi, ma'am. How's it going? I'm monitoring government here to ensure it is being conducted in public interest. What's the name of the treasure FOIA officer? Freedom of Information Officer for the Treasury Department. Um, I do not know the information. Sorry, I'm fairly new. I've only been here. I wait around. Um, the treasurer's out of um, the office for the week. Can no, I don't need to see the treasurer, ma'am. I need to see the FOIA officer within this department. It's a deputy. Um, she's actually out to lunch. Are you the only employee here now? That is correct. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, where's the maps and plats and archives library, microfilm library for this county? Oh, you're asking me a question. Sorry, unfortunately, I can't properly. Okay, it's okay, ma'am. Like I said, I'm fairly new. I've only been here since June, so I'm still learning a lot. Yep. So, but I could dish out about twenty or thirty different type of questions, but it's just no, neither here nor there, ma'am. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll check back a little later. She should be back in about uh, forty minutes or so. Okay. What was your first name and title? Monica. Clark. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a wonderful day. Okay. So here's another wall. See, the state requires these to be prominently displayed. These are OSHA. But we don't just need OSHA, we need FOIA. Alrighty, so we'll check back with the young man. These people are all out. These people could come up with the biggest excuse that you're possible. Building Depot. Alrighty. So, with that being said, wow, is just this? This is it all? This is all it? Building and zoning. Building and zoning. Take a notebook, paper, and do your aerial view of your property and show. How much you're Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, can I have a county map? And, um, a county map? We're thinking about yep. making that better and then do um, like a... GIS. Okay, yes, sir. GIS. Okay, go out those doors. Yeah, like, uh, you go to the right. Business, you go to the assessment office. Like okay. Um, out this door. No. Yeah, this, like out this that, door to the side. Yes. Just for Turn right. That's your space. First floor yeah. on the right, <laughs> you'll see assessment. <laughs> And yeah, that, uh, out of that exterior door. Yep. So Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're building. I should have asked him about FOIA too, but let's go to the assessment board. Assessment review. So far, it's a good run around. Great run around so far. Assessment office. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, how may I help you? I'm monitoring government here, ma'am, to ensure it is being conducted in public interest. Do you have exempt pins I could inspect? Um, what do you mean? Exempt pins parcels that are exempt do you keep log of that we do i'd like to inspect that please hold on one moment sure
That's a nice looking poster right there. Townships. Township breakdown. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? It's okay. What can I help you with? Uh, did the young lady relay what my request was? She just said something about seeing exempt parcels. She wasn't entirely sure. Do you keep record of exempt pins? Of course. Yeah, I'd like to inspect that. Um, well, it'll take me a minute to pull up a report of all of those. Is it not readily available? No, no. I, well, I mean, it's, it's kept in certain software, and we would right. have, have to, like, run reports and stuff to put it together for you. Okay. I mean, it, can I ask what specifically you're looking for so that maybe I can get you, like, you know, I mean, you sure. just want to see all the exempt parcels in the... Approximate how many numbers you think that is? It's probably a couple hundred when you think about... Oh, that, that's low. Couple hundred, that's a low number. Why? Why would you say that? I'm just guessing, but... Yeah. Like, a, you know, um, so it would be like school, federal, anything that the federal... Right, religious, knows, senior government. exemptions. Pardon me? Senior exemptions, religious. Oh, you want... Oh, oh, seniors don't get, like, their property isn't exempt. Right. They still pay taxes on it. Well, no, there's some senior exemptions that you offer, don't you? Yes, but it doesn't make the property exempt. It just kind of reduces the, the tax burden. Right, that's right. Yep, yep. Right, it doesn't make the property Are exempt. Are you the assessor? I you meant, like, yeah, I am. Okay, I great. I thought you meant when you say exempt parcels, I thought you meant like parcels that were that don't pay taxes because of their ownership, like by the federal government or right. the state government or schools or county or city or churches. Okay. You know, like those are properties that don't pay, they are actually exempt because they don't pay taxes. Right. But then there are other exemptions like general homestead exemptions or senior general homestead, which is another, you know, it's like just a portion of the property. I wanted to ask you this. Um, are you recording me? Yes, I'm, I'm monitoring government here to okay. ensure that you conduct it in public interest. <laughs> So the, the certificate, the assessments, are they required to be signed by the assessor? Hmm. Well, they're certified in, in, this, in the property tax cycle, right? right. So the, it starts off with the township assessors and the books are, and they, they do the like direct valuation and then they yeah. have like, they used to call it a book because it used to be like a paper book, right? And the clerk would prepare the book and the county clerk would prepare the book was a paper book and they would give it to the township assessors right and they would discover and list and 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 do direct valuation like find new property and list it and then they would sign off on their portion of that i see and they give it to me and then we check it and um we and i'm getting ready to do that right now cool right so is to um we publish it in the paper all the changes that were made mm -hmm. and then um, we published any assessment that's been changed in the whole county I have to I have to publish those in the paper and then I send every taxpayer notice I mail. see and it says like the, your assessment changed by this that's and per so 200 they have 30 days after they get that to, to go to the board of review right so, it's important and i'm getting ready to like and i do these public meetings too where i explain yeah to people how to appeal their taxes nice so we do that so other thing that i wanted to inquire was about foia but um what i'll do is i'll put a request through foia for the exempt pins that's not a problem well, well I, but, but i still don't know exactly and, I, and i'm happy to give it to you without a foia but i still got to know what you mean when you say exempt pins you just you want every pro, every parcels bottom all line all the various exemptions on right the right because i did create a list like that is it an xls where i'll be able to narrow down no I, it was a pdf so that ain't no to, problem that ain't no problem so i did create that list for somebody because there was a gentleman here last week who was um getting ready to register for the tax sale right, right. where you pay for you for people who bid on like um to pay delinquencies taxes. delinquencies right yes yeah right and he had this sort of angle that like he thought he would make more money in his however he was doing it i didn't really understand it but he wanted to know which of the delinquent parcels were uh, had exemptions on them maybe i don't know now you being an honorable assessor right i tried my best <laughs> let me ask you a question here there was a record a friend of a friend that received a um copy of a certificate of purchase for delinquent taxes mm -hmm. but the total number was around 10 grand and some odd change 
somebody scratched off the 10 grand and attached an additional thousand on there so made it 11. Well, there I know there are fees, but you know I don't right. handle that. I don't collect any taxes here. But is it does it sound about right to scratch off an official document like that, or I, I can't say without right. having seen what okay. happens. You know I don't. Even Your know. first name was. It's my pleasure. It was my yeah, <clears throat> it was pleasure talking to you, and like I said, you I still for, haven't really explained what you want, though. I'll put it in writing. Okay. I'll put it in writing. Okay. I try to That's specify easy. as best as possible. You can submit the FOIA right to my email. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Thank you so much, George. George, have a nice day. Likewise. Thank you, guys. Okay, yeah, I did explain what I wanted to see. I wanted to see exempt pens. But you know what? Um, let's just go check back with the young gentleman here. Uh, this is Boone County. People here are friendly. People, you know, so far so friendly here. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. So let's check back here and call it a day. Call it a day. Hi, ma'am. I'm supposed to be chatting with Aaron. Okay. Sure. One second. <laughs> All right. Great. Assessor seems forthcoming too. He's on the phone. Sure. Do you want to have a seat? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Boone County. This is their yearbook. Hey, bud. Any uh, news? I mean, I have a general question. Sure. Again, it's very loose and more general kind of uh -huh. categories that we kind of have, at least that yeah, have yeah, taken over. Yeah. I've had a predecessor before me that he kind of had a list that I've just been moving into. So most part, um, I know that you had stopped by over the clerk's office. Right. Um, there have been there has been with the county clerk, they're on administrative leave, and. So FOIAs, they also come to my office, and sure, so most of that problem. information is okay. election information um, categories. Right. Mr. Aaron, uh, there's records that have to be prominently displayed per department. I don't see them now prominently displayed. I'm going to mark off. I develop my own checklist oh. that I don't see anything. But you seem like a very hon honorable man here, and yeah. uh, really they should promote you from grant manager let's start you off as, as um, county clerk actually mine is right here oh i'm sorry about that okay no 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 we don't need you as deputy county we need you as elected county <laughs> <laughs> no i'm so i try to do my best and right providing as so this is 3.5 and thank you for that my next move is four but i'm not gonna even check right now just on your own time my man Please look that up. It's right here. You can look that up on your own time. It's required yeah. to put the stuff easily be seen in front of the people's face. Okay. Total amount of operating budget organizational chart along with 11 other items. Okay. Yep. Yeah, maybe I'll check back within a couple months and yeah. hopefully when you do review it and speak with counsel. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You take care. All right. Likewise. All righty. So oh, that about that about that. That about that about that. That about that about that. Boone County. Mark it off on a checklist and say we've been there. We've been there, it's done that. We've been there, it's done that. 
So all those dunce caps. Dunce caps. <laughs> so all the dunce caps. We've been there, done that. Is that public health of the county? Yeah. That's they... the health department over there. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, since we're still out here, let's inquire with the uh, PH, public health. Okay, WIC is on that side, public records is on this side. And I don't see it on that wall neither. Neither. Hi there. Hi, how's it going? I'm monitoring government here to ensure it's being conducted in the public interest, ma'am. Yes. What's the name of the designated FOIA officer for this side? We have Amanda Mel and Carrie Campen. Is he or she available to speak to? I'll see if they are. Sure, one moment. You. Can I tell me your name, please? George. George. Yep. Okay, one moment. Thank you. All righty. Do you want to fill out a FOIA form? You just want to speak to the FOIA officer. Prefer to speak at this time to the okay. FOIA officer. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All righty. So let's prepare this to be uh, sealed. Make sure that these folks are in compliant with that portion. Public health. Food drive, lead, lead paint, lead poisoning is preventable, food safety, Couple QR codes. So far so friendly with the people here at Boone County. Uh, Hi, ma'am. You're the designated FOIA officer? I am one of the designated FOIA Okay, great, ma'am. Uh, I'm monitoring government here to ensure it is being sure. conducted in public interest. Um, do you know the song no, no, uh, Four Non Blondes? You look like that lady. But anyway, back on topic. Uh, Section 3.5 of FOIA requires freedom of information officers shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public interest shall immediately disclose upon request. Can I see that list? A specific list? Yep. So actually our department here, the Department of Public Health, all of our stuff, with the exception of things related to like public health, like private health information. Right. So things about a specific person or client mm -hmm. are subject to FOIA. So any of our programs, any of our services, anything that any member of the public wants to submit a FOIA request for is completely acceptable right. for that to be submitted. There has to be a list already developed specifying everything that this particular department shall furnish immediately. Do you have that list developed already? I don't have a list specifically, no, no but I'm thing. more than, if I could have a copy you of sure that, can, I'd be well. happy to take a look at that and get back to you. That ain't no problem, ma'am. That ain't, need. That ain't no problem. I'm more than happy to do that yep. for you. Also under section four requires additional records to be prominently displayed, easily be seen. Yeah. One of them is going to be the purpose of this public body here. Mm -hmm. One of it is going to be a block diagram giving functional subdivisions. Sure. One of them is going to be the approximate full-time and part-time employees of Justice Department, total operating budget of PH, and uh, boards and commissions fees allowable under Section 6. This is it right here. Do you think if I check back in the near future within about 30 days to 60 days uh, after your review, these will be prominently displayed? Yeah, we have our 
our organizational structure, our annual report mm -hmm. that includes like our operating budget, right. all of our expenses that go to all the different programs and services that we offer. Mm -hmm. We have all of that available to the public. It's on our website. Okay, ma'am. A public body that maintains a website shall also post information on this website, but the primary is required to be at the yeah. public yeah, body. Yeah, I think we do have, let me just, I'll just pop over here. Sure. We do have our annual report here for you. Because there's also people that don't have the wherewithal no, to use computers. No, 100%. Yep. yep. We sometimes have, so this is... This is our most current annual report. Sure, yeah, this will probably. And have you're this welcome to have a copy of that. Okay, um, for sure. Um, and this, here's the yeah, health yeah. org chart. So yeah. That so we work with our board of health, right? That's our governing board. Mm -hmm. And by state statute, as you mentioned, we do have to publish an annual report that I believe, and I'd have to look at specifically this paper that sure. you're referencing. Take a copy of this. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. But we do, in our annual report, have to put out like very specific details. Right. It goes out every year, so it's got the org chart in it. Mm -hmm. We do keep the printed copies up here, because you're right, we have folks that don't have access to the internet, right. or people will call with questions, right? Yeah, yeah. So we can you know, send people hard copies, they can come in and they can pick up a copy, right. and we post it online also for people's mm -hmm, ease of mm -hmm. information, but we're pretty flexible in terms of like, if somebody wants a copy of that quickly, we can usually <laughs> provide it in like a writing It does say also make available. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So online, in person, you know, over the phone, if somebody calls with questions, mm -hmm. that's generally what we do. Um, so for example, a county board, this was the section 3.5 of records that should, this is the list he developed, but each department has their own list should be developed because they handle mm -hmm. variety of records within those special departments. Sure. Other than that, ma'am, if I could just have a copy or if you'd like to take a copy yeah. of this and if I could have two FOIA forms of for this department. Yeah, yeah. yeah you absolutely can. That about for all. Sure. Hey, Chuck, you want to grab a couple, you want two copies? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so um, do you have a business card yeah, on hand? I do. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. The uh, FOIA forms, I'm just going to keep blank copies for my record. I'm going to be submitting a FOIA electronically at a later time. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, and absolutely. I think I'm all set. Okay, okay. You guys have been it, wonderful staff here at yeah, the Yeah, for sure. Golden and it County. should say for you here, let me just, I want to make sure I'm giving you mm -hmm. everything you need. Um, it'll explain here like how to, you know, how to fill this out, right? Oh, no, there's no standard form required. No, I know, but I mean <laughs> our form. Well, I'm just mentioning sure, sure, like sure. our form explains yep. like kind of how yeah. the different sections to fill out. That and ain't then no problem. Man. Once that that's submitted, you know, people bring them in and drop them off. People mm -hmm. email them to us, it, you know, it, whatever it, people put the, send them in Hello. the mail. It doesn't matter. Like however sure. you submit it to us, we're happy yeah. to accept it. That ain't no problem. It. Transparency, right? Accountability. It's really important. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. And I appreciate that, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so, yep, this is all that I was checking in today. That's all. Section 3.4 and 5. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, 3.5 and 4. Um, so, yeah, I'll check back within 30 days. Hopefully that stuff is up on the wall. Okay. And, yep. you're, and just so I'm clear, you're specifically looking for a, a list of all the different things that can be FOIA'd? Is that what you're asking me for? Just so that I, I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you, what you're still missing after you know, today's conversation. Right. Just, I the, just want to make the sure. Thing is clear, that, yeah. The thing is that I've been to a lot of public bodies and uh, a lot of FOIA officers list is different than others. Mm. One FOIA officer decided to go around the entire public agency and find out each pamphlet that they have and they list she listed all of those pamphlets. Oh, one other one pamphlet. other FOIA officer just decided to list these eleven following the code. Mm -hmm. Bye, have a great so it's day. up to the FOIA officer's sure. discretion, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, because we like uh, we've got like the list of all of our programs and services mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and any of that is subject to FOIA, right? But is that something with the exception yeah. obviously of somebody's personal health information. Right. Right. Like if somebody No asked, then that wouldn't be on the list. Right. If no. somebody asked for, you know, immunization records for yeah. somebody that they had no connection to, then obviously right. you can't release that information. But immunizations yeah. is one of the programs. And well services under that we under offer. seven under section seven it requires only the public body to exempt unique identifiers and provide absolutely. the remainder yeah, of records. Absolutely. Record. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yep. Right? You got it. Yeah. So um, other than that, I think I'm all set. You guys have been wonderful and yeah. I'll be back here in the near future to 
possibly file one in person for your request and to check if that stuff is prominent for sure and i'm so sorry what was your name george george it's yep. nice to meet nice you nice to meet you likewise and how's the best way to get a hold of you um well it's gonna be on video my channel is called audit them okay yeah it's called audit them yeah okay so Great. the video will probably be up uh probably within this week or okay. week after okay yep Thank you guys so You're much. Welcome. Have, Have a good day. day. Likewise, thank you. Take bye care. Bye. 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 <laughs> Those are nice people here. Alrighty, so this is Winnebago right here, man. And uh, I'm sorry, I said Winnebago. This is Boone County in Belvedere, Illinois, in the city of Belvedere, Illinois. Boone County. Um, she she seems very knowledgeable I, when I told her under section 7 uh, they only have to redact unique identifiers she was well aware of that stuff the one who encouraged you to 